I'm here with Brian Shannon talking about the short squeeze. And Brian, I remember when you were talking about Tesla at $42 a share. Could you, for those people who aren't familiar with that story, could you remind us about that trade? Talk to us about that setup. Walk us through that situation. Tesla has been a, a monster move, and everyone knows the story by now. But when it was about $40 a share, it had just broken out to a new high. And there was maybe some news involved. I don't remember. But there was a very high short interest position. So there's two ways to look at short interest, which is either percentage of the float short. Uh, and what I'll look for there is maybe 10% or higher. And then the short interest ratio, which is the number of days to cover, it's also known as. So days to cover kind of tells us, based on the average daily volume of maybe a million shares, Shares. If there's 10 million shares outstanding, then it'd take 10 days of, of theoretical, you know, long only buying, or I'm sorry, shorts covering to get out. So the higher the short interest ratio, theoretically, the more difficult it is to get out of that position, and they become trapped and in, in buy in a fearful manner and get squeezed, basically. So you do these kinds of scans. You were you were watching it. Did it come to your attention through a scan on like Finviz or like how did this come to your attention? I use Finviz. That's a good. It's a good starting place. It's a free tool. It's a really good starting place. Um, a lot of times, what I actually do is I'll just look at the charts themselves. I look through hundreds of charts each, you know, thousands each week, and then once I call them down to the best looking charts that, and on multiple time frames, I'll look at things like the short interest ratio because that's you know it's just it's an extra source of demand potentially, um, and you know that when it gets a high short interest, then it gets my attention, and a lot of times it's a fast Bad type stock or something that's controversial that um, you know Crocs was a great one if you remember that like Jones Soda Taser now Tesla and I mean there's shorts being squeezed all the time and they can just be really spectacular performers because you have that fearful uh, buying for someone that's not familiar with that term let's just go back to that term the short squeeze what does that refer to and why are they calling it a squeeze? yeah exactly so um, I'm not really sure exactly why they call it a squeeze, but I think, you know, I, I used to have a little blog called squeezeshort.blogspot.com, and I had a picture of this guy whose head was in a vice. And basically, the pressure is just so, it, it was a cartoon, it wasn't anything graphic. But the, uh, the point is that they're buying from a fearful position, because if they shorted it, under $40 a share and the stock breaks to, out to an all-time high, then in theory they are losing money and that the, the, unlim the potential of unlimited losses really gets them to be a, a fearful buyer. Now we never know if they're hedged some way, but if, there's, you know, if we've got a stock breaking out to new highs where it's never traded higher, no one's going to be looking to break even, there won't be that natural source of supply from profit takers, um, then you have uh, you know, people piling into the stock. Again, and, you know, you've got a great looking car and at the time it had just won the Motor Trend Car of the Year or the, the safest car by the U.S. government. Consumer Reports actually said safest report, uh, safest car. But um, those, you know, every once in a while it's kind of the perfect storm. I mean the shorts aren't stupid though. They get them right a lot of times. But if their timing is off then it's really can be a disaster for them and a lot of fun on the upside. Well that's a, that's a fantastic story and information about the short squeeze. Thank you Brian. Thanks. You're watching The Money Show Video Network.